What do you call a lawnmower that doesn't cut grass? Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna episode of Pat Taste Performance. Today in the driveway we have this beautiful Toro Recycler Vortex, the latest and greatest from the Toro company here in the driveway. For a no start, no run condition, as well as some seasonal maintenance. Now, before we start this video, um, don't be mad at Briggs, don't be mad at Toro. For the most part, this mower being so new, the reason why it's here is because of you. So anyway, we are going to save the pain and agony of dragging out all these tools to try and test various components. We're gonna go right for the gander. We're gonna pop off the air filter cover, move the air filter, and we are going to be focusing on this open hole right here. We're gonna be taking our go-go juice, which is basically two cycle. We can get some fuel or starter fluid, whatever, anything combustible, and we're gonna go right into this hole. And then now, we're gonna try and start the lawnmower. Bail cable down, give it a rip. She is a runner, so it ran and died. So, by having fuel in the carburetor, we confirmed air, compression, Timing spark fuel is the missing factor. Once this burnt up, this is here no more. Now, what I'm curious about doing now, you know, we're going to keep doing it the traditional way because I want to show you guys a trick. If there's still gas in your tank without any crazy tools, you could stop the flow of fuel. The other thing would be to put it in the smart stow position, basically you know, having it tilted, you know, up on its backside in the previous video, and then the fuel would go back into the tank, but let's keep our trick alive and well. Alrighty, so we're gonna be looking for the screws to start unveiling the carburetor. And we're gonna have two eight millimeter, one, two, they're black, and two seven millimeters here, right in the middle. So let's take those out. Take this fuel line out. Now, if you have a lot of fuel in here, it's gonna leak. But we don't have so much. What you want to do is you could remove the other side and pull this off and then put a bolt in there and clamp it or clamp the line or take off the recoil housing and pop the tank off and it'll be separate on its own unit. But this thing doesn't have too much fuel. So now we're gonna switch to our seven millimeter, seven millimeter, seven millimeter, and we're gonna pop this off right here. Just a good little tip as well, is this is the air box housing. I'm putting my bolts in there. Okay, let's pop that off. And now our carburetor, carburetor is exposed. Pay attention. You have one. Can we film this without you being in my way? Pay attention, you have two choke levers. Well, this is choke, part of the auto choke. And then this is basically, you know, your other throttle. So we are going to nice and carefully pull this out towards you. I'm gonna zoom in, zoom out. Ooh, see? And I'll show you something that came out. We're gonna twist towards the lawn tractor, towards the front of the mower. We're gonna take out the back one first. 
And then now we're going to flip it towards you and pull the second one out. Now, you could see this white piece here is left out and the O-ring actually flew out. So let's make sure we put this back in. So it's going to be the O-ring first. Okay. And then we're going to put this back in. Oh, I'd never seen this hitch before, but that shouldn't matter. See how it snaps right back in? There we go. To the operating table we go. Here is our carburetor. These are two seven millimeter screws that we're gonna have to take out. See that? Now what we're gonna do is you see this little lip here? See on the corner how I'm lifting this up? Take a thin screwdriver and pop it open just like that. Next, you can see a little, see a little discoloration here. See everything is nice and white and that's a little yellow. Take your thin screwdriver, stick it in, pry. Come on. Come on. Is this not thin enough? Oh no, let's go the other way. There we go. Making me look bad on camera. There we go. And now it's popped out. This is your jet right here. You have openings one, two, three, four. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get our tip cleaners. If you don't have a set of these, no big deal. Anything will do. But these are really inexpensive to own. Link in the description to purchase these for sure will be there. These are lifesavers, money savers. And we are just going to run this tip down every hole. One. Two, three, and four. Now for good measure, you could take like WD-40 or compressed air and just give a quick little blow. But I'm just gonna do this with, uh, you know, We're working in the field today. So, we're blown out. This can only go one way. Let's put this back in. Make sure it snaps in. Okay. And then we will take the carburetor. And we'll put it back together. Now I want to make this very, very clear that push this down as tight as you can before running these bolts down. You do not want these bolts to compress the O-ring. Do that hand. Make this, use the, the tools to just make it tight and a nice light seal. So now we're going to put it back on the machine. Remember the same way. It came off is the same way it goes back on. So let's do the back one first. The back one goes to the front. See how we're tipping it towards the towards you, towards the camera. Snap that in. And then we're gonna take our other lever. Oh, come on. Make me look bad. That just goes. Other way. That popped off way too easy. Alright, so let's do this one. We'll do the back one first. And then... Okay. 
that's in there. Let's slide this in, push it in, get our fuel line in. Don't forget to put the clamps back on. That's very important. And then we could reaffix the air filter. Now remember, this carburetor is plastic, but the tabs that hold the cover in are metal. So my thing to you is if you are going to use an impact like me, have it on the lowest setting or just feather the trigger and do not send it home or just go by hand. Just go by hand. Start these by hand. Cannot stress that more than enough. Even if you're using like a ratchet, you don't care. See, that's it. Nice and easy. Low, low volume. Don't just send it home and send it hard because you're asking for nothing but issues. That's it. We're just holding a carburetor, nothing else. Alrighty. So now we got the car back together. Let's add some fresh gas using our spill-free shirt can. Okay. Look at that, no spillage. And then on top of that, hey, hey, we're gonna add some sea foam. The sea foam is a conditioner and a stabilizer. So it will continue to clean and service the rest of the fuel system, clean the valves, because it'll burn a little bit better and we'll be good to go. Now sea foam is petroleum based, so you can put as much as you want in there and do no damage. Let me just put this down. Now, of course, in the previous video, we did check our oil, so we do know it is full. If you haven't done that already, before you start your machine, make sure your oil is topped off. You ready? Fire in the hole. Does the personal pace work? Yep, oh, she's lively. Oh, she's lively. All right, man, winner, winner, chicken dinner. A job well done. I'm going to perform the seasonal service slash tune up on that. That'll be another video for another day. To make sure you guys catch that, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Guess what? I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pat Taste Performance. Later. Yes. Ah! Uh -huh.